Hello guys and welcome to my channel for another great Super Sunday video. Today I will review my new ultralight airplane Jabiru J170 from Iris Simulation. I haven't tested the airplane yet, but the first uh, sights are really great. I will also start a VFR tour with this aircraft, so it really suits my needs. It is also a much better airplane than the previous ultralight one. At this point make sure you subscribe and you'll be notified when I'll start flying this airplane on the tour. And now we can start with the review. So starting in the cabin where you can find a very unique cockpit with many different details. Uh, you can see the fuel gauge uh, for left wing and right wing on top of the cabin. And also the bag there is also for some spare place for baggage and other stuff. Following that there is also aircraft configuration manager included for changing your aircraft configuration and there is also a button for changing the aircraft uh, state to cold and dark state and by opening the flight assistance you can navigate the autopilot when in the air. And now going to the cockpit again and prepare the aircraft for startup. I'll first turn on the master switch and then the magnetos and avionics. I'll turn on the radios and check all the flight controls. And just before starting the engine uh, you need to run the fuel pump for about 5 seconds and then the engine is ready for startup. You'll press the start button, uh, which does not uh, work in P2D version 4, unfortunately. So pressing the control and uh, E together will do the job. And after the start, uh, we can deploy the flaps to position number one, as there are two positions. And uh, we can also check uh, the controls again from the outside. We are fully ready for taxi now, we'll initialize uh, the taxi to the runway and we'll turn on the strobe lights uh, just before entering the runway. And now we are on the runway and fully ready, so adjusting uh, to the full throttle and at approximately 50 knots we'll start with the rotation for takeoff. As we are airborne now, we'll continue with the flight for to Porto Roche Airport from departure airport of Aydoschina. We are now in the Porto Roche airspace and overflying port of Cooper. We'll now follow the coast and uh, land at Porto Roche runway 15. In the meantime I can also show you how the autopilot works, so you can choose from heading hold and altitude hold as the main flight assistances. You can adjust the heading if you want and also the altitude can be adjusted and the aircraft uh, will automatically descend or climb to the assigned uh, altitude. 
You can use the flight assistance uh, by pressing uh, shift and number 2. We are now getting really close to Porto Roche airport. Uh, we will fly to the short final for runway 15 at Porto Roche and uh, we'll land and continue then with a the taxi to the apron uh, further to the left. As we have vacated the runway, I will taxi here to the left and park by the other ultralight airplane. And now we have completed the first ever flight with Jabiru J170 from Iris Simulation. Now as I am parked uh, at Porto Roche, I will turn off the magneto switches, the avionic switch and master switch and I will also close the fuel port. And as said, uh, I have completed the first flight uh, with Jabiru J170 and its uh, review. I really like the airplane and I recommend uh, the airplane also for you if you're an ultralight or VFR lover. So get your airplane from Iris Simulations webpage. I'll drop the link uh, into the description and also make sure to subscribe as I will start a VFR tour in near future with this aircraft. Stay safe and see you soon. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Bye bye, see you soon.